Hi, and welcome. Today's focus is automation testing. Curated by our QA experts, we'll reveal our favorite automation testing tools. Make sure you watch until the end to see a comprehensive framework of all automation testing tools you may ever need. We are Jeldix, a software development partner for industry leaders. We post weekly videos on tech in five minutes. Subscribe not to miss new videos. Before we start, the Jeldix QA team would like to send some kudos to the person who inspired this video, Daniel Knott. His YouTube channel is a real treasure trove for those who are serious about their testing career and enjoy keeping up with the latest trends in testing. After you watch our video, we definitely recommend watching Daniel's take on when to automate and when not. Make sure you check it out. The link is in the description box. So let's start with the very foundation, the functional testing. Out of the many functional testing solutions, Jelvix experts ensure that the developed solutions function according to requirements with the help of Selenium. Selenium is incredibly versatile with strong integration capabilities and is widely supported across different browsers and platforms. In particular, it's a favorite among Jelvix developers for web application testing. However, it has its cons too. Selenium can be challenging due to flaky test scripts with dynamic web elements and high memory consumption during test runs. In addition, it has relatively expensive licensing. But no worries, another potent alternative is Cypress. Cypress is another powerful alternative for automated functional testing. Its built-in capabilities for end-to-end -end testing, including a powerful API, real-time reloads, and automatic weighting, streamline the testing process and enhance developer productivity. Cypress also provides a clear and intuitive interface that simplifies writing, debugging, and maintaining tests. However, it's primarily focused on front-end testing and may not be suitable for testing non-browser functionalities or legacy systems. Also, since Cypress is free and open source, self-hosting for large deployments is required. Now, while Cypress and Selenium are a good fit for web application testing, mobile testing automation has its own landscape of tools. At Jelvix, we use Appium for its seamless cross-platform mobile testing capabilities and support for both Android and iOS. On the downside, it has a complex setup for real devices and slower execution compared to native tools. For those who find this downside to be a game changer, there's an alternative. Catalan Studio generally offers a simpler setup process for real devices compared to Appium, and it can be faster in terms of test execution due to its streamlined integration and built-in support for various testing frameworks and devices. Catalan Studio provides a comprehensive IDE with a user-friendly interface, making it easier for testers to create and manage automated tests without extensive programming knowledge. However, the dependency of Catalan Studio on a GUI-based approach may limit its customization capabilities and integration with certain complex testing scenarios. Let's move on to user interface testing. For this purpose, the Jelvix QA team recommends Jest. Jest is known for its snapshot testing, which ensures UI consistency. It also integrates exceptionally well with React applications, which definitely comes in handy. However, Jelvix teammates report Jest might be occasionally quite slow with large test suites and limited JavaScript TypeScript environments. So if this doesn't really fit you, you can use other tools like Selenium, Ranarex, Test Complete, or others. Speaking of Test Complete, this tool is our top choice for regression testing. Test Complete offers robust scriptless test creation with powerful object recognition and supports a wide range of applications, including web, desktop, and mobile. However, like any other tool, it does come with cons. In the case of Test Complete, the drawback is high memory consumption during test runs and a relatively high cost compared to some open source tools. Meanwhile, keep in mind you also have a range of other regression testing alternatives. Now, let's move on to performance testing. There are plenty of solutions on the market. However, at Jelvix, we use LoadRunner for several reasons. Firstly, LoadRunner is great at simulating thousands of users and analyzing system performance under heavy load. It also has comprehensive reporting features and support for a wide range of protocols. However, due to this, LoadRunner can require significant hardware resources. Also, its scripts can be complex to maintain and update particularly when applications undergo frequent changes. This makes LoadRunner the solution with a quite steep learning curve. Besides, its comparatively high cost makes it less accessible for small teams or individual developers. Since we've started discussing the performance aspect, let's also cover the load testing tools. We recommend using JMeter, which is a popular open source solution featuring extensive protocol support and strong community backing. Meanwhile, Jelvix QA experts mentioned JMeter requires complex setup and configuration requirements which might result in a steep learning curve and some usage inefficiencies. If this doesn't fit your expectations, you can choose from an array of similar tools. There's another testing area that needs to be discussed, which is integration testing. To ensure that different modules or services within the applications work together as expected, Jelvix QA experts use SOAP UI. SOAP UI is our favorite for its extensive support for various protocols and powerful data-driven testing capabilities. And that's not only our opinion, since SOAP UI is known to be a leading tool for API and integration testing particularly useful for testing web services and APIs. However, some of its drawbacks include resource intensiveness, maintenance overhead, UI complexity, and limited REST support, to name a few. 
Therefore, if you'd like to consider other alternatives, feel free to explore these other options. And last but not least, security testing. To find vulnerabilities in web applications, we use OWASP Zap. It helps identify security weaknesses through automated scans and manual testing, aiding in the protection of web applications from potential threats. However, please note that like many security testing tools, it may generate false positives that require manual verification. So there you have it, a comprehensive landscape of automation testing tools recommended by Jellix. But now take a step back and think, when should you automate at all? To find an answer, watch Daniel's video, link in the description box. And if you liked our video, we're sure you'll also enjoy our review on software testing trends. Also, support us by liking this video and leaving a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button. Bye for now.